Got to mute you, unfortunately. exercises starts to feel like it's too high, like you're straining, you can either drop out 
or try to flip into head voice or go down an octave but don't don't ever strain or push during these exercises the minute it starts feeling that way you need to make an adjustment the the point is not to strain <laughs> Everybody just make this sound. Ah, ah. Real in the nose. That's the sound we're going for on this exercise. and the other two are difficult for me to do as well. Is there a trick to learn how to roll R's? Not that I know of. One, one suggestion I might have is just to see if you can do any of those exercises on one note. So could can you do or or just on one note? See if you can find one of those that works on one note and then just try two notes. Or somewhere down low in your range where it's easy and then gradually work up to three notes, four notes, five notes. That's the only thing I can think of off, off the top of my head 
uh, for trying to learn how to do that. Usually people can do one of the three, at least on one note. Let's try this. NG with the mouth mostly closed. Welcome everybody. Make sure that it's NG and not just a hum, not just HMM or whatever you think of as a hum. Make sure that it's you're trying to do NG. No straining, no clinching. When it feels like it wants to flip over into some kind of mixture or head voice, just let it flip. Somebody's asking why the rolling lip trill exercise is different from just humming. The, the lip trill and uh, tongue trill exercise is to intended to get the tongue to relax. So when you're when you're humming that the tongue might or might not be relaxed, the humming that we're doing now is to open the nasopharynx, but the lip trill tongue trill uh, raspberry thing is to get the tongue to lie flat. for me. I'm in some kind of a mix now. you hear me flip into head voice. At this point, I'm doing the whole thing in my head voice, so maybe you could be too. get and the more I work on my own voice, the more I'm convinced that that two things kind of predict success for me. One is my chords meeting, which we address with the vocal fry. Uh, goo. If my chords are meeting well, and if my falsetto muscles are engaged, those are going to be the two main things that that determine if I'm going to have a good singing day. So I make sure that I do the vocal fries and I make sure that I do falsetto. So for me, falsetto is another word for head voice. For me, I do this one a lot. That's my low, the low part of my falsetto, and I work my way up. For, for the women, it's going to be up here. And then I gradually go up.
The point is that I'm trying to get my falsetto muscles to overlap as much as possible with my chest voice muscles. So the two, the two ranges end up overlapping and then where they overlap this space where they, where I could use either set of muscles becomes my mix because the mix is mixing head voice and chest voice. So the bigger that overlap is, the more opportunity I have to mix as I transition into pure head voice. And those lighter muscles are key to singing without straining. I know it's sort of talking in esoteric terms, but that's the science behind it. Chest voice muscles, head voice muscles, overlapping them as much as possible using exercises and then that overlap becomes what we call mix okay let's uh let's start with um joy in the morning as i said on wednesday in my live rehearsal i keep putting this at the end of rehearsal and then we don't get to it so i want to spend a little bit of time with it uh, let's start please Top of page four, measure 15 with the, the tenors and basses. familiar with this folk song with this folk uh, Christmas uh, melody here we go villagers all uh, tenors and basses last measure top of four one two already oh, go villagers all this frosty tide let your doors ring open wide the wind may follow and snow beside it draw us in by your fire to bide villagers all this frosty tide joy shall be yours in the morning one more time same place last measure top of four bases and tenors one two Ready, go. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. Now let's start on the same measure for the altos. Last measure, top of four altos. You're essentially imitating a bell in this section here. Altos, here we go. One, two, uh, one, two, one. Joy, joy, rest. Joy, joy, rest. Joy, joy, rest. Joy, joy, rest. Joy, joy, joy shall be yours in the morning. One more time, altos. One, two, a one, and a two, and a one. Joy, joy, mm. joy, joy, mm. joy, joy, mm. joy, joy, mm. joy. Mm. joy shall be yours in the morning now i'm going to sing the bass and tenor part and have the basses and tenors join me and i'm going to play the alto so you hear the alto notes in the piano and i'll be singing the other here we go villagers all ready go villagers all this frosty tide let your door swing open wide the wind may follow and all beside and draw us in by your fire to bide villagers all this frosty tide joy shall be yours in the morning sopranos let me hear you so you come in a measure later than 
the tenor spaces and altos, you come in the next measure. So sopranos, let's start at 16. First measure, bottom of four, sopranos. One, two, 16, here we go. Joy, one, two. Joy, one, two. Joy, one, two. Joy, one, two. Joy, joy shall be yours in the morning. Now let's do altos and sopranos. Altos and sopranos. So altos come in first with, and then sopranos, and then the altos move. And it, the pattern repeats. It's like ding dong, ding dong. That's what it's supposed to sound like, I think. Here we go, altos, one, two, and a one. Joy, 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 mm. joy. Joy shall be yours in the morning. Now let's try it with the, the basses and tenors singing the melody underneath all that with the altos and sopranos doing the bell tones on top of it. So I will play the alto and soprano and I will sing the bass and tenor because I am unable to play all three without my third prosthetic arm that comes out from between my buttons on my shirt. Here we go. Here's the bass and tenor. Villagers all. Alto note is here. First soprano note is here. Here we go. One, two, top of four. Villagers all this frosty day. Let your doors swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow be sighing and draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers all this frosty tide. Joy shall be yours in the morning. Does that sort of make sense? I don't mean to belabor it, but I, I don't want to skip over either. Now, let's go back to the beginning and put on the first, you know, eight measures or whatever that come before this. Let me hear the basses and tenors at the where you right where you sang. Here's the bass note and the tenor note. This is the last two measures of the first page. One, two, bass and tenor. Joy, 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 villagers all this frosty tide. Once again, basses and tenors. Here we go. Bass note, tenor note. Ready, go. Joy, 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 villagers all. Okay, altos, let me hear you. So you come in a measure after everybody else, and you've got this line. Bing, bing, ready, and bing, bing, and then it divides into the same two notes that you've just sung, a lower alto and an upper alto. Just pick whichever one you want to sing at that measure. That's measure 13. Here we go, altos. The first measure where you sing. One, two, ready, go. Joy, 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 joy. Mm. Joy, 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 and so on. Let's try alto. Let's try the basses, tenors, and altos. Here's the bass note, tenor note, alto. Basses and tenors come in first. One, two, a uh, ready, go. One, two, joy, joy. One, two. measure 13 so at measure 13 we have bass tenor lower alto upper alto okay sopranos let's look at your part sopranos go joy joy one two joy joy one 
into, and then right when we get to 13, the alto split, you have this note and this note right next to each other. Doesn't matter to me which one you pick. So it can be this one or this one. Sopranos, let's try you again right where you sing. Ready, go. Joy, joy, one, two. Joy, joy, one, two. Split. Two, one, two. Rest, rest. Joy, rest, rest. Joy. So let's try, see how we do putting all this together. It's, it's a bunch of little pieces of a puzzle. Once we get it, it'll, it'll make total sense. So here's the bass note, tenor note, soprano note, and then the altos come in one measure later with this. Here we go. One, two, uh, right where you sing. How are we doing just that much? This is a nice moment at 13 where we hit this chord. Just sing that chord and hold it. Bass, tenor, lower alto, upper alto, lower soprano, upper soprano. Now I will tell you that that SFZ, Sforzando, see that marking there, SFZ? What that means is this, Joel, you hit the note, you, you accent it when you first hit it, and then you come back to soft. That's what a sforzando is. It's a very common uh, marking in brass music, as you can imagine. That's something that brass players do all day, every day. They hit it, they attack a note really hard, and then they come back. Joel, it's it's further simulating a bell because a bell if you saw the waveform of what a bell is it's really loud when the hammer first hits it and then the sound gets a lot softer real quick the, the loudness is right when the hammer hits you'll also notice that each note of joy before that in each part has an accent over it so it's all supposed to sound like bells joy 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 Joy, 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 and then joy, villagers all, and then the accents go away. So that long joy at 13, we hit it loud, and then we come back to soft. Okay, let's try the first two pages and two measures, and then we'll move on. Bass, tenor. Soprano, alto, one, two, uh, ready, go. Joy, 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 so sforzando. Two, one, two, villagers on this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide, the wind may follow and hold beside you and draw. Send by your fire to buy villagers all this frosty tide. Joy shall be yours in the morning. So I'm seeing some questions here in the chat. For basses, breath every four bars. Uh, yes, that's correct. And then if I sing in head voice, I'm straining a bit. If I sing an octave down, it's easier. What do you suggest? Um, maybe a mixture. I, I want us all to keep developing our head voice, uh, but I don't want it to be a strain. So, so if it if it's mostly a strain, I would say sing down an octave, wherever you can produce the easiest tone. Let's turn the page and keep going. Top of six sopranos. <laughs> Now you're gonna sing the melody that the tenors and basses just sang. Top of six, measure 29, sopranos. One, two, ready, go. Villagers all this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide. 
The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all oh, this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. I need to use the word bide more. Come over to my house and bide with me for dinner. Here we go, top of six, sopranos. Two, a uh, one, two. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, and draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. That's soprano. Alto, let's hear you, please. Top of six, measure 29. I'm going to go a little slower because the alto part kind of doesn't go where, where you might expect. One and two, one and a, two and a. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your door swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. This is a section where if I were an alto rehearsing with the YouTube tracks, I would slow them down because the performance tempo is pretty fast and it might be tricky to get all the notes at the performance tempo. So if you are using the YouTube rehearsal tracks, there's a little gear icon. It looks like a little washer or a whatever. You can click on it and slow it down to half tempo or even slower, I think. Altos, here we go again. Top of six altos, villagers. One, two, ready, go. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your door swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. Altos and sopranos together. I'm gonna sing the uh, I'm gonna sing the soprano and play the alto. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Villagers, all this frosty tide, let your doors swing open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside, yet draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all oh, this frosty tide, joy shall be yours in the morning. My conducting professor in college would always make me sing one part and play another. And then he would add, he would make me add, gradually add other parts, either, either singing or playing, or play like the clarinet part, which was in a different key. So I'd have to be transposing one part, playing one part that's not transposed and singing another part. And he made me go real slow, like, like so slow you couldn't hardly recognize the song. All he cared about was that the notes were accurate. Okay, basses and tenors. One, two, top of six. Villagers, all oh, one, two, one, let them open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside and draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, all oh, joy shall be yours in the morning. I will tell you, basses and tenors, that your part doesn't go with the sopranos and altos. It's like an echo, it, the, the rhythms happen in different places. So if it feels a little bit wonky that way, it's because it is. Here we go, basses and tenors. One, two, ready, go. Villagers, oh, one, two, one. Let them open wide. The wind may follow and snow beside and draw us in by your fire to bide. Villagers, oh, joy shall be yours in the morning. 
let's try putting them together. I'm going to try to sing the bass and tenor, and I'll try to play the alto. Sopranos, you're on your own, because I think you know it. I think you know the melody and can, and can hold on to it. Here's the bass and tenor note. Here's the alto and soprano note. One, two, ready, go. Villagers all, let them open wide, the wind may follow in snow beside, and draw us in by a fire to bide. Villagers all, joy shall be yours in the morning. Tricky for me to put that all together. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. section you feel like you're getting it despite my clumsiness now at the bottom of seven is a repeat of the beginning section joy 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 that's all repeat top of eight is the long joy with the sforzando and then the third measure top of eight we're at new material does that make sense so essentially we've learned through page eight second measure Kind of where we where we are. Status report. Okay, let's uh, let's move on, please. Bethlehem's beautiful star of Bethlehem. I started rehearsing this one for the first time on Wednesday, maybe. Uh, some of you have looked at it more. Texting my wife back real quick. Okay, uh, let's go at the beginning. So on the rehearsal tracks, I made a mistake at the beginning. I read the word unison there where it says U-N-I-S at the very beginning. And so I sang the tenor and bass along with the soprano and alto, but it's really just supposed to be soprano and alto. So if you listen to the rehearsal tracks and you hear the tenor and bass part singing there, that's a mistake. Really, the tenors and basses are supposed to enter at measure 12. So, sopranos and altos. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have gone, and guiding the wise men to the place where Jesus lay, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Just that much again. Two, three. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have. Guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Now let's hear the basses at 12. Basses or one. To measure twelve, go. Star of wonder, star of night, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory, glory dawns. Lamp and light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star. 
Measure twelve or oh, one, two, three, twelve. Star of wonder, star of night, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory, glory dawns. Lamb to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Sorry, we need to respond to Jim real quick. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, tenors, let me hear you at the same place. Measure 12. Here's everybody's notes if you want to read along. But we're focusing on the tenor. One. To measure twelve tenor. Star of wonder, star of night, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory, glory dawns. Lamb to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Let's try the basses and tenors together at 12. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, three, measure 12. tenors and basses getting it? it's pretty easy right and this section repeats quite a few times throughout okay altos one two measure twelve altos actually you're gonna you're gonna sing a pickup beautiful star you're gonna sing the last three notes of the previous measure one two three beautiful star of wonder star of night star of bethlehem Shine upon us until the glory, glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. One more time, altos, a one. Two, three, beautiful star of wonder, star of night, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory, glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Sopranos. One, two, sopranos. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory. Solemn to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. One more time, sopranos. A one, two, three. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until. Give 
All the parts together. Pickups to 12, and then we'll go back and add the first page. Bing, bing, bing. Here we go. One, two, uh, three. If you sing this song long enough, you will actually turn into a Southern Gospel quartet singer. It's like we could have a buy on a violin, like a, you know, it's very, I, I worked in uptown for years and this is so Appalachian, I love it. Yeah. But a vi I think a violin would be great. Uh, okay, so how are we doing on the, on the parts here? Do you feel like you're getting them? They're pretty, they're pretty uh, straight ahead. So let's go from the beginning, please. Sopranos and altos. And then we'll add uh, everybody else at 12. A one, two, three. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have gone, and guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus How are we doing? Pretty straight ahead, right? Okay, let's move on. That's actually a big chunk of that song because the chorus repeats quite a bit. Let's look at Wreath of Carols. Wreath of Carols, Wreath of Carols. Let's work on the German verse. Klingglichen, Klingelingeling, page seven. My goal is to have you singing this as an earworm the rest of the weekend. That's really what I'm what I'm trying to do. I guess I should what I should do is put this at the end of rehearsal. And then abruptly go, that's it for today. And then the rest of the weekend you'll be singing kling glichen kling a ling a ling. I think this is a little bit of German onomatopoeia. Like it sounds like it sounds like bells ringing. It sounds like little finger symbols to me. Basses, let me hear you. Last two bars of seven. Kling, glich, glich, and kling. One, two, measure forty-eight. Kling, glich, and kling. Kling, glich, and kling. Kling, glich, and kling. Kling, glich, and kling.
Let's add the tenors. I will play the bass and, the, and sing the tenor. 48, here's the bass note and the tenor note. One, two, ready, go. Klingblechen, kling, klingblechen, kling, klingblechen, kling, klingblechen, kling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing, happiness before us, join the merry chorus. One more time, those two parts, bass, Tenor, altos and sopranos, if you want to sing along, here's your note. One, two, ready, go. Klingerchen, kling, klingerchen, kling, klingerchen, kling, klingerchen, kling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join, jo join the happy chorus. Sorry, I messed up there at the end, uh, tenors. Altos, let's hear you, please. Here's the bass. A little bit time sensitive, that's why I'm responding. Here's bass, tenor, alto. Two, ready, go. Cling, look, and cling. Again, altos to ready go. Cling, look, and cling, cling, look, and cling, cling, look, and cling, cling, look, and cling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the happy chorus. Bottom three parts. One, two, measure 48. Sopranos, let me hear you, please. One, two, sopranos, go. Cling, gluch, and cling, a ling, a ling. Cling, gluch, and cling. Cling, gluch, and cling, a ling, a ling. Cling, gluch, and cling. Little bells are ringing, little children singing. Happiness before us, join the happy chorus. By the way, we will be changing into later Hosen just for this song. So we're in the medley, and then you'll quick change into later Hosen and then change out. Here we go, everybody at 48 bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, ready, go. Let's get a sense of how we get into this. Let's go. Um, let's go at thirty-six. So th this is the last measure, middle of page six. And all the bells on earth shall ring. And then when we get to forty-four, there's kind of a surprise ending where it goes to a different key, and the altos have kind of a funky note. So let's go middle of six. And all the bells one, 
two, a one and a two. And all the bells on earth shall ring. Let's just try, um, for example, altos. The last phrase on Christmas Day in the morning. Let's try you altos. I'm I'm starting the last measure, top of seven. Here comes altos two. Ready, go. On Christmas Day in the morning. And sopranos at that same spot. Try sopranos. Ready, go. On Christmas Day in the morning. Sopranos and altos together on Christmas Day is the alto, soprano, ready, go. Tenor, same spot. Tenor's your part is more, in more intuitive. You don't have any, any kind of surprise notes. Here we go. On Christmas Day, tenors, ready, go. On Christmas Day in the morning. Try the top three parts. Tenor, alto, soprano. On Christmas Day, here we go. Two, ready, go. Beautiful writing. Basses, let me hear you. Basses, on Christmas Day, ready, go. On Christmas Day in the morning. Make sense? Let's try everybody and all the and all the bells on earth shall ring. This is pickups to top of seven. So you sing the last note of six and jump immediately to top of seven. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano, and all the bells. Ready, go. Now let's go back. Let's try from the beginning that far just to get a sense of the medley and then we'll, we'll uh, try to learn a little bit of the next song. I saw first page sopranos and altos pickups to measure nine. One, two, one and a two. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morn. And what was in those ships, all three, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day?
How are we doing so, th thus far in the medley? So feeling feeling like you know your notes and know the rhythms and so forth? Okay, let's just look briefly at the next song and then we'll move on. Thanks for your hard work and kind attention. <laughs> Alan. Alan messaged me and said, I ain't slapping my thighs even for you, and I'm German. Now we are getting esoteric with the with the references here. Hang on tight. There'll be a there'll be a debrief later, a little lecture to explain everything. Here we go. Pickups to 78. Sopranos and altos. One, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Sopranos, keep going. Oh, lovely are your branches. Altos, let me hear you at 82. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. The second, the second phrase. One. Alto. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Let's try altos and sopranos together. This is measure 82. One, two. Are you getting that alto? Altos? Let's try tenors. At 82, one, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. <laughs> Helen says, and I wouldn't be caught dead in a dirndl. Uh, I'm getting t-shirts printed that say that. Order your size today. Here we go, alt, uh, tenors. One, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Top three parts. This is measure 82. Here's the tenor, alto, and soprano. One, two. Pretty writing. Basses, let me hear you. One, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. One more time. One, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. All the parts, bass, tenor, alto, and soprano. One, two. Now let's go back and do the whole thing. Pickups to 78. Top of page 10, sopranos and altos, a one, two. measure here sopranos oh christmas tree oh christmas tree 
How lovely are your branches. Okay, let's move on to another song. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's look at Midwinter Carol, please. The big midwinter frosty wind made blow. Top of three, basses and tenors. So one, two, three, one, ready, go. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made most present altos. Earth stood hard and land, water like a stone. Fifteen now. Sopranos, let me hear you, please, at measure 11. This is bottom of three, Sopranos. A one, ready, go. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow. Long ago. Altos, please, at, at uh, bottom of three. And a one, two, three. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow. time for the altos and then I've had a request to do the soprano again. So alto, bottom of three. One, two, three. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow. Let's do soprano, yeah, soprano. One, bottom of three. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow. Let's try sopranos and altos together. Thank you, basses and tenors, for your patience. Cash prizes for those who are patient. Or Oktoberfest clothing. You choose. Here we go, alto, soprano. One, two, three. Two and three. 
We try basses and tenors together at 15. Here's the bass note. Here's the tenor note. And I will sing the tenor this time through. 15. Well, here's the alto. Here's the soprano. Focusing on the tenor. One, two, three. Silent snow had fallen. Snow. time and this time I'll sing the bass. One, two, three. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, one, two, three. Long, so long ago. Try all the parts together at 15. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three. Just make a note that at the downbeat of measure 23, the bottom three parts say the word long, but the sopranos don't because they're holding the word long from the previous measure. Long ago. Uh, uh, so everybody else moves to the word long, but the sopranos are already holding it. Okay. Marsha is saying, uh, yesterday Jonathan told us to aspirate the T. Where are you talking about, Marsha? In the word winter. And for me, that means make winter sound like a British upper class person would. Winter, as in when not winter. Winter, like we would say, winter. Okay. Winter. Okay. And then Dave said, can you please help the bases find their note at 15? Yeah, so it's kind of, it's the, here's the two measures before 15. Um, and then it's here. It's like the home tone of the key, but it might be a little bit tricky. Let's try from top of three now, please. Measure seven, basses and tenor start us, and then altos and sopranos come into 11. Here we go. One, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as top of six, measure 28. Let's see how we do reading our parts and then we'll go back and do them individually. Right at 28, here's the bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, 
36, please. Let me hear you at 28, please. This is top of six. One, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, angels to the shepherds came. For unto you a child is born with great excitement. setting. Tenors and basses together. I'll sing the tenor and play the bass. Here's the bass. Here's the tenor. Starting top of six each time. Measure 28. A one, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, angels to the shepherds came. For unto So long ago. 
once again, 28, bass, tenor, alto. Loves me some minor. One, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, angels to the shepherds came. For unto you a child is born, with great excitement they proclaimed. Gloria in excelsis Deo. At Evanston rehearsal, John said we should sing eggshell, egg shell, 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 Correct, Helen? Egg shell. So on other songs, we're doing egg shell, but on this one, egg shell. Okay. Let's add the soprano, or let's do the soprano, focus on the soprano. I'll keep playing all the parts in case, in case you want to sing along. Here's the bass, tenor, alto, and I'll sing the soprano and play the other. So one, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, angels to the shepherds came, for unto child is born with great excitement they proclaim glory in excel see sorry day oh in the lake <laughs> Again at 28. Sorry, my smoking is catching up with me. I had a friend tell me the other day that he was in such bad health he was sick, he was thinking of taking up smoking. He was sort of like, What's the point? I'm 65, everything's falling off me. Might as well just take up one more bad habit. Here we go 28, bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, three. In the big midwinter, angels to the shepherds came. For unto you a child is born, with great excitement they proclaim. Gloria in excelsis day. to top of three, the whole thing, and we'll call it a day. Uh, it's beautiful. I love it. Top of three, measure seven. One, two, three. In the bleak midwinter
off. Hey, great job.